Live from the CBS Broadcast Center, this is CBS 2 News at 11. Police under attack for the second time this month. An absolutely unspeakable, heinous attack. Three officers murdered in Baton Rouge just weeks after their colleagues killed a black man. Now we have to grieve again. Tonight, messages from a cop killer as the nation remembers the lives he cut short. Good evening. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Jessica Moore. The gunman who killed three police officers in Louisiana has now been identified, but his motive remains a mystery tonight. We just received photos of the officers who were killed. The county sheriff identifies the three men as husbands, fathers, sons, and brothers. Three of their colleagues were also wounded today. One of them is in critical condition tonight. Investigators say the suspect was a former Marine who posted dozens of videos and tweets on social media. CBS 2's Brian Connie Bear is here with more. Brian? Well, Jessica, that suspect spent five years in the Marines and apparently used his military training to help him kill those officers in the latest deadly attack on police. A hail of gunfire in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Sunday morning. Police once again the target. The gunman opened fire with an assault weapon at a gas station where sources say one officer was just vacuuming his patrol car. Another was inside the convenience store. He had a mask on. One subject, all black, carrying AR. Six officers were shot, three fatally. 32 year old Montrell Jackson, Deputy Brad Garofola, age 45, and 41 year old Matthew Gerald. Neighbors were caught in the chaos. I was kind of terrified, and the only thought that kind of processed through my head was I better get into this house, I'm about to get shot. The gunman killed by police at the scene identified as ex Marine Gavin Eugene Long of Kansas City, Missouri. Police there sealed off his last known address as part of the investigation. Long opened fire on his 29th birthday. He was honorably discharged in 2010, and police sources say it was obvious he had tactical training. Using a pseudonym, he recently posted videos advocating a black uprising and violent revolutions. 100% have been successful through fighting back, through bloodshed. Long made that video in Dallas last week where police officers were ambushed by another former soldier. And he opened fire 12 days after Alton Sterling was killed while pinned down by white officers in Baton Rouge. Stop this killing! Stop this killing! Sterling's emotional aunt called for healing after hearing about this latest shooting. We don't call for no bloodshed. That's how this all started, with bloodshed. We don't want no more bloodshed. Once again, President Obama expressed his condolences and condemned yet another attack. Nothing justifies violence against law enforcement. Attacks on police are an attack on all of us. The heartbroken sheriff who lost one of his men in the attack says the senseless violence simply has to stop. Until we come together as a nation, as a people, to heal as a people, if we don't do that, and this madness continues, we will surely perish. One of the officers killed, Montrell Jackson, posted on Facebook recently that he was tired physically and emotionally from the anti-police protests in Baton Rouge. His message, quote, these are trying times. Please don't let hate infect your heart. Jessica. Absolutely heartbreaking. Brian, thank you. The